you. Here is my intro. Okay, stay there. Do not come any closer. I'll continue the truck message. You better arrest me. Thank you. Understand that? Is obstruction visible? Your ridiculous questions are so annoying. I'm not gonna entertain them. What section three? I'm calling you these guys are rights and freedoms. End of story. What section three? Oh, hashtag they don't know. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> nope. Coming to you with another whoosh tweet. Take one look at this face, and tell me in the comments, in in a word, what this face says to you. Let's hear what our prime minister has to say. Hey everyone, as we approach the end of the year, I've been doing a lot of interviews with uh, TV stations, with newspapers, with uh, radio stations, and they've had a lot of great questions, but I know you do too, so let's hear them. Hey everyone. You're right, Mr. Trudeau, I do have a lot of good questions, oops, and... If you check out my Twitter, then you'll see some of them recently. Let's look into some other questions. It's a pretty good one. What is your net worth? What has caused your net worth to explode over the course of the pandemic? Do you not think it is morally unacceptable to be giving billions of dollars to Ukraine while not having enough money to properly care for sick Canadians, who then, out of despair, turn to government-assisted death as opposed to choose life? How do you think you still have any moral authority to lead a nation with two convictions for conflict of interest slash ethics violations? What happened to the Shermans? Did you catch Pierre's duplicitous video meant to divide as the beast government feigns division so that we remain divided? I did check it out. It was MSM false prophet beast government propaganda replayed over and over from different stations with the same narratives. Is it true that Klaus Schwab and the WEF have penetrated over half the Canadian cabinet? A question I brought up to the Emergencies Act inquiry that was never answered or addressed, and uh, I'm breaking the law by telling you that I brought that up. So come get, come get me, RCMP. Did you stop teaching at a Vancouver private school under what Snopes referred to as the cloud of sex scandal? De debunked, eh? The debunkers? The Winstons of the world? Fact checkers at the Ministry of Truth? What about the NDA, I say? Why didn't you talk to any of the protest organizers? I can test he did on multiple occasions when they met with him for intelligence briefings. Yes, not even the mighty truckers are free from penetration. You violently suppressed the most peaceful protest Canada, if not the world, had ever seen. Assaulted protesters, froze bank accounts with no due process. Do you think Russia or Iran take you seriously when you criticize them for being tyrannical regimes? The sheep take him seriously, though. The sheep pray and bray for his every breath. Canada's golden child, JT. We have Theo Fleury next. Have you sworn an oath to worship Lucifer? And he's citing a WEF initiation. Well, Theo, you've been around these people long enough, shouldn't you know? It looks like Viva Frey had almost as many questions for the Prime Minister as I did. Derek Smith? I, th I think Derek's on to something. If uh, JT ever comes to town, I should get him to sign one of my copies. Ooh, how many times have you worn blackface? Why did you lie under oath? Ooh. That's, that's serious allegations. Greg Wycliffe coming in with... Some shade on the PM. This zoomed in from the beginning. Professional broadcaster. Why did you decide to use brute force to end the trucker convoy in Ottawa instead of trying to talk to the protesters? Well, you see, when you're not on the side of truth, it's very easy to be defeated in any type of conversation if someone else is coming from the place of truth. Is this a democracy? Or not? No, my friend. Greg Wycliffe at 
the Great White North propaganda mill. This is what technocracy looks like. This is when the experts tell you who you are and what you want to be, and you pay them to do that. Yes, even you, Greg Wycliffe, you pay the experts to tell you what to buy, who to vote for, how to run your life, how to manage your affairs, what to want, what to expect of others. And it's comfortable because it keeps you from seeing who who you are and looking inward because it's not always a pretty place. I seem to be having some technical difficulties making this video. Hashtag not targeted. Stay strong, citizens, servants, slaves, and free beings. Oh, and one more thing. Fuck Justin Trudeau. Fuck Justin Trudeau. Freedom is a must. Freedom is a must.